All right, Matt, it's time to build a pitch lap. A couple things. Um, building the pitch lap, I think that a lot of the times is more prep work than actually doing it because um, it goes quick once you start. So you need to make sure you've got everything set. Um, now I am using my tile tool. I think you were mentioning you were gonna do the same thing instead of building a, a separate pitch lap foundation. Uh, there's various points of view on whether to do this or not. Um, like anything in mirror making, you, you ask 10 people and you'll get 10 definitive answers about the best or only way to do things. Um, generally, I do like to make a, 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 a new foundation. Um, you pour that just like you did your tile tool. Cover your, your glass with uh, aluminum foil or a... Uh, what? saran wrap, plastic wrap, um, so that it doesn't get scratched and you pour the the foundation on top of that so it'll take the shape. Um, I'm currently out of dental stone so I'm just going to use my tile tool and hope that I don't see any scratches and have to revert. That's the gamble. If you, uh, if you use your tile tool and you get scratches you have to destroy your pitch lap to go back and use your tile tool to regrind the uh, the glass. Now I've prepped this in a couple ways. You can see it doesn't look like your average tile tool. I've taken, I've got a mix here of one part pitch, four parts turpentine. You can see it's liquid. Um, so I take that and spread that over the surface of the tool. Um, actually let me back up. Heat the tool in the oven for about an hour at say 200 degrees so it's nice and hot. And then brush it on. Brush this pitch turpentine solution on and then put the, the tool back in the oven for another hour or so. That, uh, my understanding is that that opens up the, the material, um, allows this pitch turpentine solution to, to soak into it and uh, creates kind of an intermediary uh, prep surface um, for the pitch to take hold. And then of course I've um, wrapped it in the, the plastic to, to make a dam around it and you can see I've got a bit of uh, uh, cerium oxide on my mirror. Um, that's maybe half a tablespoon. I'll put some water on and spread it. I want a real thick, um, not real thick, but I want a relatively thick uh, coat of cerium oxide on that mirror um, for later use. What we're gonna do is pour the pitch into here let it harden, not harden, but let it cool and uh, and get to be where it's relatively hard so we can pull the, the dam off and then turn the mirror over, push it on top and press down with a lot of weight so it'll it'll follow that curve on the mirror. Now over here at the stove, that's our pitch. Um, it's been melting for about an hour and a half now. You can see I've got that on very low. Uh, it's barely on. You don't want to rush this. Um, it, it, uh, it, if you get it too hot, it boils. It boils off all the volatiles and gets too hard to be useful. To test it, what I do is I take a, I'm all out of plastic spoons, so I used a knife. But you dip that in there, have some uh, room temperature water handy, put it in the water for three or four minutes so it'll cool it down and then I don't know if you can see or not but what I've done is I've taken my thumbnail and just pushed down into that pitch until I can fill with a relative amount of pressure uh, I can fill that pitch give um, I don't know if you can see my thumbnail prints in there but that's about where you want it you don't want it too hard don't want it too soft um, if you're gonna err you're probably going to err on the side of it being too soft um, so uh, if it seems too hard, I'd give it a shot until you learn what to, what to feel for. Um, if you get Google 75 or uh, Google 72, I can't remember what it is, from gotgrit.com, um, it should be good just to melt and use. You shouldn't have to tinker with it at all. Uh, this stuff is some older stuff that I got from Edmonds. Um, well, got from someone that got it from Edmonds about 40 years ago. Um, and so I thought it was a little hard, so I added one and a half tablespoons of turpentine to it. 
again depending on who you ask some will tell you that uh, you know that that's the way to do it others will tell you never add turpentine um, depends on what you want to do that's what I did um, so I've got it pretty well ready to go and we'll do that we'll pour it in the next video